of everyone. It is your girl, Jail Beauty, seven here, aka Grace Honey. It's time to try out this Natasha Denoa Golden Collection. Finally, I know, right? I'm late to this party by like what, like a week or two weeks, something like that, girl. I don't know. Anyway, let's get into this stuff right here. So. I told y'all I was really going to grab this palette when it first came out, and here I am with it, grabbing it, holding it like I told you. So the palette retails for $69. Um, I should have some information pop up over here about it, but this is what she looks like on the inside. As you can see, she's nice and golden like. Um, I will show it side by side with the other palette once we get to the eyeshadows, but I want to get into the gloss and the um, highlighter palette first just because, you know, they're giving I'm living it's real cute. Um, but yeah, so the highlighter palette is the thing I was most excited about because it's like all highlighters that actually work for my skin tone in this golden situation. I mean, the pearl one, I feel like still would look decent on some of my skin tone, but the majority of the highlighters in here just to me look like they work best for my skin tone. Now, my only thing is this is supposed to be similar to the bronze palette she came out with a while ago and she just relaunched it under a new formula or something because I have a palette that's really similar to this and I'm going to show you all in a second, but I want to put on the gloss first and then we can dive into this and the eyeshadow palette and all of what I think is similar to everything else so we zoom in real quick and keep like the glow situation i am trying a, a full face or a good majority of a full face worth of new stuff if you want to tell me what you think down below girl you can let me know no but this is the gloss right here so it's just a nice sparkly glittery gloss i was wondering initially i thought this might be similar to Destiny and katie's lip gloss but then i was like no, I don't think it is because if I remember correctly, I think this one is supposed to be like a plumping type of gloss. Don't quote me. And like, you know, Desi and Katie's was just like a shimmery, glittery gloss. It says, yeah, it says it's a shimmering lip plumper. So it's not the same as Desi and Katie's. Theirs does not plump. So let's try her on, shall we? And FYI, the only reason I got this gloss is because I've never tried a gloss from Natasha Denona. Otherwise, like, it wouldn't have made a difference to me. But I was like, because I haven't tried one, we need you. So, I don't really see anything exceptional. We'll have to check and see about, you know, the, um plumping and how it goes as far as plumping but i'm gonna go grab the highlighter palette i told you all about okay so it just started tinkling um maybe like a minute after i like walked out to go get this palette i was telling you all about so this is the bronze cheek palette so i'm wondering if this is supposed to be an extension of this and just a different formula because i swore there was supposed to be like new formulas i'm trying to remember if the new formula was supposed to be in the highlighter palette or if they were supposed to be in the um eyeshadow palette but as you can see the colors look somewhat similar I feel like the two darker shades look kind of similar to these, but these in here actually look deeper. So I'm going to swatch them side by side and see. This is from the original gold, sorry, bronze palette. And this is the shade Pearl from the Golden Highlighter Trio. Okay, so this is one of the super highlighters from the bronze palette. And this is the shade Sun Glow, the new one. So again, it's giving very much similarity. So it's like, are we just repeating stuff over and over again, Natasha? Like, I need to see what this, what's going on. Who's all over there and why? they keep trying to give me the same thing over and over and over because at this point that's just what it's giving me like both those shades just seem to have like slight variations and difference and like one is more sparkly than the other one is what it comes down to for my personal opinion okay so i feel like the last shade is spot on y'all let me know but this is from the original bronze glow palette i just showed you and then this is from the highlighter trio so i feel like she just remade the highlighter trio over and discontinued this bronze palette because of the putty formula in it at the top that didn't work very well i remember the late great Mel thompson saying how she loved this palette but like the um putties at the top had already messed up and distorted on her and that was like years ago so th it, this just seems like it's her reformulated version of this and they're just like more wet highlighter glittery effects as opposed to um, what this was at the time, which was those, those putties and then the um, gloss. So I'm not necessarily as excited about this as I was since now I'm seeing it's just like a repeated product. But at the same time, for the people who didn't get to get that product and you can get it now, I'm excited for you. I'm just not excited for me who already, you know, like owns these things. So anyway, let's get into these highlighters and put them on. So I'm thinking I will take the shade pearl down the middle of the nose and I'll put sun glow and bronze on each side so I'm going to take um, sun glow and put it on this side sorry for some young so yeah I'm putting sun glow on this side 
And as you can see, it looks very nice on the skin and gives definitely a nice pigmented glow. It's just a question of, you know, are you having these like similar tones? So that's what we're working with when it comes to sun glow. I should take the shade Pearl now and go down the middle of the face. Then I'll use my switch from Sigma and take um, the shade Bronze and put it on the other side. So it's giving a more icy, like pearlescent like effect. Kind of like that sh um, Fenty How Many Carrots highlighter shade. That's very much like the vibe it gives me. Just put it on, which I'm not necessarily mad. I feel like it's time and place for it. Or if you're just of a certain skin tone, you can use it at all times. But I feel like for me, it's gonna have to be a certain like time and place. Like I'm doing a smoky eye and I want like an icy highlighter, then that's when I would use this person. Like we have it out here in the movie theater looking crazy, y'all, with three different sets of like highlighter lunches. So, and it's a shade bronze. Which is the one I feel like I would use most in the summer. I like to use her highlighters a lot during the summer. And I can definitely see me pairing this palette with the original one. Just to give some little extra like oomph to it. Or put this on top of the original one. Because it seems to be a little more of a creamy formula. And that one seems to be a little bit drier. So like I could put that one on top of here. Or I could put it underneath whichever one you prefer. But. The highlighter is giving. Natasha does a very good job with highlighters. I usually love the highlighters I buy from her. So I'm not surprised I like this one. What is this in my eyebrow? Yeah, my eyebrow just looked like it had something like crusty that was stuck in it. I think it was like when I had my face washed, I did early and I didn't realize it was stuck in my eyebrows till just now. But yeah, so remember this is bronze. I'm loving all the highlighter shades. This is pearl and then this is sun glow. I absolutely like pearl and bronze the best. Sun glow is okay. But I'm not really into really champagne highlighter. I like the fact that I have like a more icy highlighter for when I want to do smoky like Y2K-S makeup. And then I like the bronze one obviously because that's the one that works best on my skin. So for me, this is just um, a reformulated um, version of the original bronze glow palette that I showed you. But again, to each his own. So now let's get into the eyeshadow palette. Let me back you up so we can show comparisons of eyeshadow palettes I already have and things of that nature. So of course y'all know. I have to start off with the OG Gold palette since it has like, I think seven or nine shades from that palette. And I'm like, come on y'all, like, really? Just, I don't know, but I'm not feeling it. Anyway, so this is what both of them look like. As you can see, the palettes are quite similar. I feel like if you cover up the two pops of color, like, I'm looking at the same palette. But, you know. To each his own. I'm excited for all of you, like I said before, who did not get a chance to get your hands on this palette or just didn't want to spend the hundred and whatever it costs to get this palette. Cause I'm pretty sure this was $129. So I don't blame you, sis. I felt some type of boy my damn self, but you know, here we are. And then um we have the ambiance palette here. Sorry about the um people. You can use code gel beauty87 on Natasha Denona's website if you want to get into this stuff. And you can use code gel beauty at Sigma if you were interested in the ambiance palette as opposed to getting Natasha's palette. Because $69, I understand is a lot in this economy. But if you can get a similar color story from a different brand, I feel like this one gives a little bit more orange warm tone now that I see it. And this gives more neutral traditional like gold tones. But again, if you like more warm tones and you wanted a golden palettes you might be interested in the ambiance palette so I'm just showing them just for reference in that sense but this is what they both look like side by side again I'm sorry about the line man hopefully he is gone by the time I come back with an eye look because honey it is not giving I'm not living and I don't appreciate him being out here making all these loud noises it's extremely weird anyway I'm gonna go off camera get my life in order and then I'll come back and um have an eye look for you I'm gonna do a separate video where I compare gold palette to the golden palette just to see if the colors are going to be the same and the formula is going to be the same but yeah i'll be right back okay girl okay okay y'all so this is what we're working with as far as the eye goes so i didn't take a whole lot of shades uh i did you want to use the, the reflective ones that they came out with so i did use fuzzy on the lid alongside varus and then i took teak log Aura, and I'm gonna put Canva on top of Aura once we get done with the inner corner on the other side. So let's get into this eye look, girl. I'm going to take the lid, sorry, the Lock It Down eyeshadow primer from um, 
e.l.f. and try it out today. I wanted to um, use it when I knew I was using a more neutral shadow. That's why I didn't use it in the video that you all saw for the soft glam foundation. Just because, you know, first of all, I wouldn't put an eyeshadow on in that video. And then second of all, you know, I just knew this palette was coming so I was like I can use it with this and then give you an idea of how that works in addition to this other stuff so I'm sorry about the people mowing the lawn it's like close to 10 o'clock in the morning girl so you know people out here mowing the lawns handling business doing stuff I'm just out here trying to film get stuff done because I know I gotta go do certain things by certain times because I got some other business I gotta handle today and I got like a zoom meeting I gotta be at 8 o'clock tonight to handle some business so I'm like I gotta hold off but let's get into the shade teak and this is a sigma e body max so this is like the max one with the bigger bristles and what have you so maybe we'll start with this the plumping has stopped on the gloss now i don't know if y'all saw a difference in the lips i didn't necessarily feel like i saw a huge difference i'm interested to know what they like to use as far as to make the lips plumper now, I don't know if they're across the street more than mine or if they're like directly like next door. Because I saw them across the street when I went to go take some pictures to compare like the um, stuff I showed you all in this video starting off with. But I'm like, I don't know. I still got so many other videos I need to film. So I'm trying to like buy my time and figure out where I'm going to film what. Like I got a haul of all the makeup I got that I got to film. And I need to do some more like videos of that stuff to make my little like reel of hauls because I'm trying to make it to where I do a reel of like hauls or whatever so I'm like we'll see about that so I kind of if you can't tell I was kind of dragging it into the crease as well because I don't feel like there's really a crease shade for me to use as far as to transition over so that's why I just started off with this shade and then I'm like we're gonna go into the log shade put that on the outer beat and then drag it into the crease as well to give like a little smoky dimension to it because I'm trying to go for like a a bronze night like smoky eye type vibe so I'm gonna take the shade log now and start on the outer V, do my cute little, you know, like V shape or cat eye winged shape, and then we'll go and start dragging up in the crease. But I want to make sure the outer, you know, let's look the set first. So that's what I'm working with right now. But it's blending nicely over this primer, just fine. I feel like I'm getting good pigmentation. It blends smoothly. I don't feel like it looks like patchy anywhere while I'm putting it on and it's not like staying true to the blendability or the formula that we know Natasha for. So that's good because, you know, I was like, if she relaunched one of her most famous palettes, she better come with the right formula. She better not be trying to skip, scrape, or cut us with nothing because people will be feeling some type of way. But I feel like she already knew that and she conducted herself accordingly because I'm like, Natasha, girl. I'm trying to decide how many more eye looks I want to do today. I kind of want to get the Crow's palette now from, um, who you call them? We're going to take the shade Bars now from, um, Wicked Widow Beauty just because when I try their products, I really enjoy the palette I tried for the most part. So I'm kind of like, maybe I should get it. But at the same time, I'm like, I don't really care about the crows it would just be more for the color story and i've already shown you all of the color stories so i feel like i look like kind of like a hypocrite being like oh i'm gonna go back and buy them now even though i don't really need it and i told you you don't need it and we don't need it now i'm gonna take the shade fuzzy i just put that on top of this one to give it a little bit more brightness to it so it'll be so you know deep bronze because i'm like i wanted mainly the outer v to be like the deep bronze like smoke type of or deep smoky bronziness and then come back and have like the brightness come from or the lid and a little bit of the um inner corner that's mainly why i wanted the brightness to be so i was like okay with there being some smokiness on the lid but not like too much to the point where you know it's doing a little too much so i'm hoping i found that nice balance i feel like i did you can comment down below and tell me if you feel like i did or not but yes, I'm definitely feeling this look. It looks nice for what it's supposed to be. Like, I don't mind wearing neutrals as long as it's like I get to be like really smoky and vampy. But it's not really smoky and vampy. It has to be like an everyday neutral. That's when I'm kind of just like, yeah, you know, I, I don't want it, sis. Keep it for yourself. I don't want it. Now we're going to take the shade Overall. I believe that's how you say it. I'm going to pop that in the inner corner. And then we're going to take the shade Canva. Or cover and 
put it on top just because it'll be more, you know, shimmery and fibery if you will. Let me do that. Yeah, see, it's definitely giving that extra oomph in the inner corner. Can you see? A little extra oomph, pam, pow, bam. In the inner corner here? Yes. I'm here for it. It's real cute. So, I'm liking this new reflective formula because I feel like this is one of the like new reflective formulas that she was talking about. Like I said, I, I swore she said there was something like that going on. So, you know, I'm here for it. This vibe's real cute. And I'm excited to have it collection so I'm backing one up and talking about my thoughts so I feel like this is just a whole really repetitive collection I hate to sound mean oh here's the swatches of what I put on so that's the one we have in the inner corner that's the one we have on top the one in the inner corner well no sorry this is the one we have on top of the one in the inner corner this is the one we have on top of the one that's on the lid but anyway to me this is just a really repetitive collection I hate to say it like if you have the gold palette you don't need this palette if you have the bronze glow highlighter palette you don't need the new highlighter palette and then, like, if you have Disney Katie's glittery gloss and you don't care about it having plumping to it, then you already have everything in this collection. So, I didn't really feel like this was a collection that was needed. I'm happy to have a new highlighter um, palette, though. So, I'm mainly happy about the highlighter palette, y'all. I'm telling you, I'm excited about that. The plumping gloss to me wasn't all that for, like, the price point or whatever. But, you know, like, it was nice to be able to try out her formula versus, like, Pat McGrath and other luxury forms I've tried. Because I've tried... Um, Charlotte too, that is. I've tried Pat McGrath's, of course, and now I have tried Natasha, so I have like a basis of comparison to give you all for future references if you ask me about it. So that was my main reason for buying that, but this whole collection just seems really repetitive. If you already got the gold palette, you don't need this. If you already have the bronze glow highlighter palette, you don't need this. So it's like, what did you really need out of this collection? Because you didn't really need a plumping gloss with glitter in it. So to me, this collection is just kind of like, if you already Natasha Denona collector, there was no purpose to you buying it. Just, yeah. Unless you just wanted a refreshed version of some of the products. Like I said, the highlighter palette, I'm really enjoying. And I know I'm going to get a lot of use out of that one come summertime. So that was my main focus on this collection. I just wanted to see how similar it was to the shades in this palette. Which hopefully I have, um, will have in the reel coming up in the following days. So stay tuned for that as far as swatches and comparisons. I already did the swatch and comparison of the highlighters for you all and showed them to you on camera. But I'm going to have a reel of those. I'm going to have a reel of swatching the eyeshadow palettes and comparing them hopefully as well soon. But yeah, like if you got um, the initial launches of these things the first time, you don't need this palette or this. You Sorry, either one of these palettes. But, I mean, to each his own. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't a bummer for you hearing that everything is pretty much the same. Remember you all in diamonds. Make sure you subscribe. My membership is down below if you're interested. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Be blessed, girl. Bye.